I am so excited about today because today I am renting a camper van and I'm gonna be going on a road trip. This year, I set my mind on buying a camper van. I had fallen in love with vintage auto sleeper symphonies and in May, I started viewing potential campers to buy. Unfortunately, I didn't feel confident about any of the vans I viewed, so I decided to expand my search and rent a different model before committing to a purchase. A very popular Volkswagen Transporter. I also wanted to test myself and see if I'd be able to operate the camper on my own and whether I'd be able to sleep in it alone. One of the biggest concerns I had about van life. Let's pack. During the first night, I was joined by one of my best friends for support, but also to have more fun. After picking up the camper, we headed to Suffolk, where we were going to view another auto sleeper the following morning. We've stopped for a sec and we're 20 minutes away from the campsite. We haven't booked anything, but I'm hoping that it, there's going to be a free spot and the driving so far is amazing. So beautiful! Have a look! This is the van. It's a VW Transporter. And well, as you can see, it's from the company called Under the Stars. This is not sponsored at all. I wish it was, but okay, maybe in the future. But so far, they've been amazing actually. Yeah, it's just a beautiful car <laughs> and it works great. So essentially, I'm trying to work this van on my own because the purpose behind renting this camper van was for me to see whether I would like this lifestyle if I was to do it on my own. So I'm about to do the swivel seat. So I need to undo this. Little wiggle. Uh-huh. Okay. Wow! Shit, that actually worked! Can you just put it back? Okay, now for the bed. Really important part because this is something that if you live in a van, which I'm considering doing, is going to be something that I'm going to be doing every single day. So let's see how this system works. <laughs> so far this is really great and i wasn't sure about liking the pop top i thought that i would much prefer to have a high top high roof but maybe a, a pop top is also a solution that i could consider i don't know yet We spend the evening catching up over a barbecue and marveling at the idyllic views around us. It was the first time I felt pure joy for life again since the breakup. I was also reminded just how much I enjoyed camping. The following morning, we got up just after sunrise, had a coffee and drove towards one of my favorite places in England. Suffolk never disappoints and we just arrived at the Two Magpies Bakery which is an excellent place. If you're ever in Suffolk I really recommend stopping here. I'm gonna be getting a big coffee because I must say that the bed in this van was very comfortable but two people sleeping in that bed 
yeah, I was. it was just a little bit difficult, so I didn't sleep that well and I woke up at 4 and I couldn't go back to sleep anymore. But still, the weather was so amazing, so we're just driving to the beach, one of my favorite places in the UK, one of the most beautiful, the most beautiful beach that I have ever been here in the UK. So I'm planning to just jump in the sea and hopefully that's going to wake me up a little bit and the coffee from the two magpies. soaking up some sunshine it was time for us to drive to my viewing of another vintage auto sleeper symphony the last one of this kind of camper that i would view unfortunately once again the condition of the car turned out to be much worse than in the description i knew i wouldn't be buying the car when i tried to open the window and it broke in my hand. Without the window. <laughs> oh god. The verdict is unfortunately a no. I'm not gonna be a camper van owner by the end of this trip. Oh, it's a big shame, but I think it's the right decision. From the moment I I saw the van, I felt that I probably it wouldn't be the one. It wasn't in a, such a good condition. I, I'd seen better ones and i had an opportunity to actually drive it and i yeah i didn't feel safe i'm really glad that i saw that van though because it helped me narrow down my search and it was the first time <clears throat> the first time that i actually started i think truly realizing what is the right camper van for me from about five different avenues i think i've narrowed it down to probably two avenues which is a really good start. I was leaving Suffolk disappointed, a bit sad and nervous too, because I was gonna have to say goodbye to my friend and I was about to spend the first night camping in a camper van on my own, facing one of my biggest fears linked to van life. Luckily, I ended up in a stunning campsite in Sussex that was filled with alpacas. I'm about to spend my first night camping on my own. In the last years, I've been a tricky sleeper. I just need to take extra steps to make sure that I do get a healthy sleep. It's actually only nine o'clock now. Yeah, it's nine, nine in the evening, but it's June, so it's it's still light out there and I'm already in bed. <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I'll report back in the morning. So now it's completely dark and I've gone to sleep and I moved inside the van and the alarm went off because the immobilizer, I believe, was was on so it sensed movement and it thought that I was a burglar or someone. I've been trying to, to turn that off and the alarm kept going off for so long. God, I feel like I woke up the entire campsite here. Eventually I called the owner uh, of the rental and we managed to to finally turn off that alarm. I think I'm just gonna do some slow breathing and go to sleep. The alpacas are so cute. They like a cross between a sheep and a donkey or like a very strange looking horse. 
and they scratch their their front legs with their back legs all the time in a very funny manner <laughs> Okay, it's time to clean up, reorganize and make that coffee. I've just spoken to my neighbor who's sleeping in a tent and he was one of the people that I felt so bad for yesterday when my alarm kept going off because he went to bed early and he's sleeping in a tent. There's no protection, like sounds proofing there. I apologized for the noise last night and he was like, didn't hear a thing. <laughs> what? I stressed so much about that and people didn't probably even hear. I'm just reflecting on last night, which was a really big thing for me because it was my first night on my own. I must say that I am feeling very proud of myself and I think it was pretty successful, even despite the fact that I had problems with the alarm going off. It was just a really good lesson and lesson for you guys as well. If you're ever camping in your car, double check that you can disable the motion sensor so you can sleep inside the car and move and you don't set off the alarm like I did about five, five times. I felt pretty safe and I didn't have to leave the car until the morning. Slowly I'll be trying to challenge myself a bit more and hopefully eventually I'll be able to wild camp on my own. Feeling so good here. I wish I didn't have to go. My trip is coming to an end and I feel like I've learned so much in only three days. The first thing is that I've realized that I am capable of sleeping on my own in a campsite. I was really worried about that and I thought that I would not be able to buy a camper if I can't sleep on my own but even though I was a little bit nervous and I maybe did not have the best night's sleep I was capable of sleeping on my own. The next thing that I've learned is that I like the layout of this of this van. I really wanted to rent this specific layout because having seen lots of different layouts I felt like this one might be the best for my needs but it's different just seeing a layout in pictures and it's completely different to try it out. In general, this is a good base layout for me, I think. And the only really important thing that I would like to change about this type of van is that I would prefer to have a high top rather than a pop top. It's a little bit too much fuffing about for me and I would just love to be able to have that height all the time. That has really informed my van search. The conclusions that I'm coming to is that unfortunately buying an old auto sleeper Peugeot Boxer, the one that I've been so mad about, is not the best choice for me right now. I love the idea of having all that space, the high top, the separate bathroom and the shower but I think I just need to compromise right now. I would be better off focusing on something that's a little bit newer that first of all is a good vehicle that drives well and I feel safe in. So I think I'm gonna start looking for something smaller, newer but still something that is relatively good size like this one and that has a high top that is gonna give me that extra space. All of this me realizing what I want is such an important thing because I I'd spent so much time looking at different avenues and different solutions. That was because I did not exactly know what I wanted and what I needed. And it just took some time and some trialing to figure that out. So I am so glad that I, I rented this van. So the plan is that I'm gonna keep searching for my van now with those new requirements in place. And in the meantime, I'm gonna keep renting vans and keep trying out different layouts, different vehicles. So if you'd like to see more videos like this, 
subscribe and if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and share it with someone who might need it because choosing a camper van i've learned is not such an easy thing it's a nerve-wracking experience there's a lot of risk involved i wish there was more videos that would explain that whole journey of choosing a van and what to do to make the best decision that is right for you because other people can tell you what is the best van in their opinion but everybody's got different needs and different desires and they want to create different experiences so it's really important to figure out what kind of experience you want to create in your camper van and i think this is what i'm realizing now i'm, I'm trying to to hone down what kind of experience i want to create for myself and pair that with the right van such a great trip and the weather has been a dream i'm a, such a lucky girl Thanks for joining me today and I will see you in my next one. Bye.